So what is the difference between technology push and market pull? So grab yourself a pen and some paper because you're going to want to take some notes as we break down what is technology push, what is market pull, how they differ from each other, and examples that have made history. Welcome back to Design and Technology On Demand. My name is Charlotte and I make weekly videos every Wednesday and Sunday, teaching you how to succeed in your design and technology GCSE. I just wanna say a massive thank you to the people that have already hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, make sure you do. Okay, so let's get to it. What is technology push? Technology push is something that has come out of a scientific research and technology advancement. For example, a better material has been created or a component, technology or software that has been invented. With these types of new discoveries, designers, engineers and companies are able to invent new products or make major improvements on existing ones. So an example of a material that came out of scientific research is Teflon. This is something that you should be familiar to seeing. You just go into your kitchen and look at your pots and pans. That is the coating that we all see. Teflon's properties are extremely heat resistant and non-stick, which makes it an ideal material to coat our frying pan to stop corrosion and sticking. However, Teflon was never originally made for this purpose, and it was first used by the military to improve their equipment, and is now also used within medical and aerospace industry alongside the kitchenware. Other items that also came through Technology Push were the microwave by Percy Spencer, which was invented due to the radar technology developed during World War II, and touchscreen technology by Eric Johnson, which we can all see within our smartphones. Okay, so let's rewind. So Technology Push is the technology that comes from scientific discovery or research, whether that be a new material, a process, or an invention. Then a new product is created, either by improving on an existing one or making a completely new invention. This all happens before the consumer knows about it. As Steve Jobs once said, it's really hard to design products by a focus group. A lot of times people don't really know what they want until you show them. Okay, so what is market pull? This is the innovation that comes completely from the consumer's wants and needs. Again, this could be the improvement of an existing product, or it could be, again, trying to design and invent a completely new product. So if we just look at the evolution of the camera over the last 20 years, how it has changed through the times. 20 years ago, we would have just been satisfied being able to take multiple pictures and it not being on film. Therefore, we'd be able to see the pictures instantly. But Market Paul pushed forward that technology to be able to create the digital camera. And cameras become smaller, lighter, compact, higher quality photos, longer battery life, storage cards, editing softwares and apps that have all developed in the response to people's ever-changing needs and wants, leading us now to having our camera phones. Most of the time, Market Paul is keeping up with the current time, values, or even a reflection on the environment or what's happening right now in this very moment, say like a recession, pandemic, or global warming. The most notable example today is how awareness of the impact of plastics in our oceans is changing the behavior of individuals, companies, and governments. We are seeing changes demand trigger a wave of new searches for alternative materials and processes, like hybrid cars, recyclable carrier bags, low light energy bulbs. Okay, so we've looked at what market pool is and what technology pushes. We've looked at examples within both. So let's just make sure we fully do understand. Technology push, in short, is invention or the scientific discovery and research that has created whether a material process or an actual component. Whereas market pull is simply the information taken from the consumer. So what their needs and wants and a product is improved or invented for that need. Let's end the video with a question. Make sure you put your answers in the comment box below. Do you think great design comes out of market pull or technology push? If you found value within this video, then please do support my channel's growth by hitting that like and subscribe button. You may also want to check out my other videos that I have created. See you in the next video where we look further into people, culture and society.